SQL Trace and TK Prof. SQL Trace is an option you can switch on and off in the Oracle database, which basically dumps out or appends logging entries to trace files, the details of which or the detail level of which can be altered. Since the SQL trace files are so complicated and difficult to read, let's look at one quickly. Here's my Oracle home directory in the admin directory and let's pick any database. In the background dump directory you'll find all sorts of trace files. Background dump is typically processed trace files as you can see LGWR for log writer, recovery, smon, etc, etc. User dump are user trace files. Let's just open one of these files up and you can see that this is nasty complicated and very difficult to read. Some DBAs actually know how to read these things. The easiest way to format it is TKProf. TKProf is a text formatting tool. It makes those trace files readable. We'll get back to that in a minute. Let's look at particular configuration parameters for SQL Trace. Time statistics should always be set to true. There is negligible effect on performance. It fills up weight event statistics. Timed OS statistics simply executes statistics collection for time statistics every five seconds. The max dump file size is set to one meg. What that means is that these trace files will never go over one meg. If you have a really bad problem and something gets too big, and that's interesting, I actually have a trace file of 11 meg there. I'm assuming that I didn't actually have this option switched on in this database. Now I can actually verify this and open up its parameter file and look for max dump it's not set. In order to check that value I'd have to fire up that database and check it but I'm fairly sure that it's actually going to be larger than one meg. So SQL trace if you want perform tracing on the database you need to set the SQL trace parameter to true. Setting this parameter in the configuration parameter file effectively switches it on database wide for the entire database. It can have quite a severe effect on performance obviously depending on the level of statistics collection. We'll get to that in a minute as well. You can actually change tracing for a specific session namely for your own session, alter session set SQL trace equals true. If you want to stop SQL trace, simply set it to false again. You can even trace into a different session, assuming it exists, by executing DBMS system set SQL trace in, session ID, SID and serial number to true. You can find these particular columns in the V$ session view. Statistics level is the level or amount of statistics collection. Basic is generally not enough, and if you want to keep SQL trace set to true, set to basic when running in production mode. Personally, I would switch SQL tracing to false regardless in production database, unless you've got some serious problems that you need to find. Typical is generally adequate and all is generally overbearing and probably usually too much.